Okay, so who is this guy? Father mm. Michael Flager. Uh -huh. He was speaking at Obama's Trinity Church on, um, on Sunday, but he's not a pastor there. He's a pastor at a different church in Chicago, but he's, we're told, frequently a, a guest speaker at um, Trinity, United, Trinity United Church of Christ. So he goes up there and essentially mocks Hillary Clinton the moment you remember uh, when she shed a tear. Yeah. And a lot of people saw this that as a turning something. point for her. Let's listen to Father Michael Flager. It must be honest enough to expose white entitlement and supremacy wherever it raises its head. When Hillary was crying, and people said that was put on, I really don't believe it was put on. I really believe that she just always thought, this is mine. I'm Bill's wife, I'm white, and this is mine. I just got to get up and step into the plate. And then out of nowhere came, hey, I'm Barack Obama. And she said, oh, damn, where did you come from? I'm white. I'm entitled. There's a black man stealing my show. I'm sorry, I don't want to get you in any more trouble. The live streaming just went out again. Absolutely I mean, if I were in the ethics. church, if he were a Catholic priest in my parish and started doing that, yeah. I and everyone I know, they'd get up and walk of out. There'd, there'd be would. no second okay, collection but, that day, but, by the way, but, Father. But, but Barnacle, they'd be awake at least. I mean, there's the oh. other argument. I mean, these, this is a theatrical presentation, but i got to tell you, the political but, ramifications, let's ask Tucker. Uh, Tucker, <laughs> where do we begin? Well, this is a sermon preached in Barack Obama's home church, and we know that it's very much like a lot of other sermons preached in Barack Obama's home church over a long period of time, and yet Barack Obama is shocked, shocked yeah. that this sermon was preached. I mean, this exact guy, who was a close friend of the Reverend Wright's, was out defending Louis Farrakhan in the most aggressive possible terms recently. So it's not like we just learned he's a creep. And by the way, look at the congregation as he says yes. this. They love it. Yeah. They're yeah. on their feet. Now, this is, again, Obama's home congregation. I'm not saying that for partisan reasons. I'm saying it because it gets to the an unanswered and, I think, burning question, which has never been resolved, which is, what the hell were you doing in that church for 20 years? Didn't right. you notice it, that? It's a good question. I also think there are questions about... about about these churches and the differences between certain churches but right now what we can what talk does that about mean? and what well the I mean you know when it comes to this I think the thing we ought to look at is potential political ramifications and there will be some whether they are long term or short term I don't well, know I'm interested in the spiritual ramifications if I you describe too. this church as your spiritual home the place that shaped you as a man morally and the congregation is on its feet cheering this kind of crap what does that say? I want like, to hear I from them. I kind of want them. an explanation. And Tucker, yes. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear from them. I certainly don't want to sit here for white people assessing this church. Oh, I do. Um, I think that's well, totally fair. By the way, the preacher was white. I don't think this has I to do with that. race. It has to do with hatred. Oh, God.